Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another video here on my Greeno Eats channel. Now today it's a very very bright and sunny morning but it's blooming freezing down here in Dorset. Minus three when I got into the car this morning. I've come down to Morrison's in Weymouth. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping but while I'm here I've not had breakfast yet today and I know they've got a cafe in store. Picked up a magic bag from there before from the Too Good To Go app. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop into the cafe and see if they can do me a breakfast. Come on, let's go and have a look. So here's the receipt for what I've ordered. I've ordered one ultimate breakfast, which comes in at seven pounds. I asked them to leave the mushrooms off because I'm not going to eat them anyway. And I've got a bread and butter on the side. So in total, that's come to eight pounds. So like I said, I'm pretty peckish this morning. So I think this big breakfast is going to sort me right out. Let me know which is the best supermarket cafe you think for breakfast. I had one in a Tesco previously. It was okay, nothing great, it wasn't bad. Um, obviously we're trying Morrison's today. Are there any others I should be getting to and trying? I know there's a cafe in the Asda in Weymouth, and I think in Pool too. Um, I don't think Waitrose have one, but who could afford to go to Waitrose for breakfast anyway? <laughs> but yeah, if there's any others you think I should be trying, let me know in the comments section down below. Quite a good sized cafe in here. There's probably about 30 odd tables, I reckon. Not that busy right now. There's a few people in. It's kind of late morning that I've turned up here. And everyone seems to be enjoying what they've got, and it's quite nicely set out. Kind of rustic looking little tables, booths, chairs, all sorts. So I've picked a little booth here. It's quite a sizable one. Apparently, I'm number one. Okay, the breakfast has arrived. Let's take a closer look at everything we've got here. Right then, so we have the bacon here, which looks quite nicely cooked. Nice crispy edges on there. An egg, which again looks nicely cooked. We'll crack that open in a minute. One, two, three sausages, which is nice. Two hash browns here. As we know, they're not my favorite thing on a breakfast, but they look nicely cooked nonetheless. You've got half a roasted tomato, which looks like it could use a tiny bit more cooking, possibly. A pot of beans, which is overflowing everywhere. Plenty of bean juice on the plate. Got two slices of what seems to be very nicely cooked black pudding. And a slice of fried bread. I think we're going to have to get the egg on there, aren't we? That's delicious. And also to accompany this... We have the bread and butter here, just normal white thick sliced bread, that's exactly what you want with a breakfast, it's come pre-buttered, I'm assuming it's going to be real butter. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I think before we do anything else we're going to have to try and cut this egg open aren't we, let's have a look at it. Still just about runny on the top, perhaps a little overdone, but not too bad. Okay, so like I said, I'm probably going to get this egg onto the fried bread. I think that'll go nicely on there. Three nice sausages all in a row here. Bacon and black pudding all together. And we got brown sauce, HP sauce in sachets. So we'll get some of that on there. Pretty much always a fan of brown sauce rather than ketchup on a breakfast. There we go. Two sachets of that, what to do. So, let's start with one of these sausages. Like I say, there's three of them here. Quite nice, plump looking sausages, as you can see. They're uh, not the longest, but they're nice and fat. Take a look inside the sausage there. Right, we'll try it first on its own, then with some brown sauce. Mm. You know what? That 
that's a tasty sausage. I was a little bit concerned. Yeah, if I pick this one up and show you, the end of them it looks a bit like bog standard catering sausage. Um, and they're probably not much more than that, but they're a little step up, it has to be said. A little bit of seasoning in there, they're not a Lincolnshire or anything like that, or a Cumberland sausage, just a normal pork breakfast sausage. Mm, but especially that savoury kind of brown sauce on there. Mm, that's really tasty. Impressed. So, let's get some of this bacon here. There we go. Possibly a little bit more crisping on some of that fat, but it's not badly cooked at all. Some of it's a little bit more cooked than others by the looks of it. If we take a look at this end piece here, you can see. Oh, well, you could if I didn't drop it. There we go. Nice sort of charring on the outside there. Again, a bit of brown sauce on it. Do the trick. Mm. Yeah, we're liking that. The black pudding. Know, possibly a little overcooked by the looks of it. The inside is very, very dark. You normally expect it to be a little redder than that, perhaps. No, oh, but it's still tasty enough. It is possibly a touch overdone. But not by much. Again, brown sauce. Mm. Yeah, that's good. But you know I like, we'll go with the hash brown. There it is, as you can see, it's a nicely coloured one. It's been cooked well. Let's see how it is. Now normally with these, I kind of like them if they've got like an oniony flavour inside. There is the inside, you can see it there. It's got a decent texture. Hmm. In fairness, there is that onion, onion flavour in there. The texture of it is good, it is soft inside. It is crunchy on the outside for sure, not soggy at all. As hash browns go, that is pretty good. Now we'll try the beans now. As I said, they're kind of overflowing out of the pot. <laughs> um, the sauce is a little thin. I don't think it's a Heinz bean. It's probably just Morrison's own brand ones, isn't it? To be honest, things were in their store. Mm. Yeah, like I say, the sauce could be a little thicker, but the bean itself. Really nice and soft, and not the problems you get with beans sometimes is either they're too hard or if they've been sat cooking too long or been microwave or they kind of go in almost like pasty. Beans, mm. they're soft, they're good. Right, let's try this tomato. Now. And as I said, this I think we could do with more cooking. I like them if they're really roasted down, and this doesn't look like it has been, but we'll give it a try. Mm. To be honest, it is cooked a little more than I thought on first impressions, but still not enough for my liking. I would like that another five minutes at least in the oven. The inside, the middle piece, is still hard, and you want that to be soft, really. That's the one kind of slightly disappointing element so far. Now we're going to go on to the fried bread. Now, if I hold this up so you can take a look at it, you see they've given me the crust the, off the end of the loaf. Do you call it the crust where you live? I know it's got different names in different parts of the country, the very end piece of the bread. We call it the crust, and some people call it the heel. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've got a different name for it that you use. But we'll, we'll try that first without the egg. It's a nice thick piece being the crust. So as you can see here, 
There you go. That's your fried bread. Think of it as just like an enormous crouton. <laughs> Rather than the unhealthiest food in the world. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. A nice thick piece of bread. You can taste that the oil is clean that they've used. So it's got that nice, not fresh flavour, but fresh oil flavour. <laughs> A bit of brown, brown sauce on there too. Mm. That's great. That really is good. And as you know, I've put the fried egg on top of the fried bread. So we'll try a bit of that together. Like I say, the yolk is a little solid, but it is what it is. That egg is good, really good. Of course, the one thing I've not tried yet is the bread and butter. It's fairly standard, to be honest. Like I say, it's a a normal kind of thick sliced white loaf. But what I thought I would do, just to uh, to elevate it a little bit, is make a little sausage sandwich. So that's what we're going to do. There we go. It's nice and soft bread. Well buttered. With that sausage in there. Yeah, that's tasty. What oh, lucky me. Great quid, it's pretty good. I'm going to polish it off and we'll talk about it more outside. Right, I come back outside again into the cold. Well, it doesn't feel quite so cold now that I've got my belly full of all that breakfast goodness. I have to say, I was very impressed with that breakfast today. A couple of minor criticisms the egg was a little overdone, the black pudding could have been cooked a little bit less, and the tomato could have been cooked a little bit more. But beyond that, really excellent. The sausages were far better than I was expecting, especially when I saw them. And they had that, you know, that little kind of bit on the end, which sort of shows they're a mass-produced sausage, a catering sausage, if you will. But um, the flavour of them was delicious. They were really kind of chunky and meaty and nice, really good. The bacon was pretty much cooked okay. Um, some crispy a bit, some not quite so crispy. But overall, pretty good. The beans were nice, even the hash browns were decent, and I'm not a big fan of hash browns, as you know. They were nice and crispy, uh, plenty of texture on the inside, and a nice sort of reasonably pronounced oniony kind of flavour to them. So yeah, I think overall pretty good. Let's not forget that fried bread, of course. Oh, what a treat that is. I love fried bread. <laughs> it's not something you can eat every day. It is a treat every once in a while, but boy, is it a treat. With that egg on top of it, absolutely delicious brown sauce proper brown sauce hp in a little sachets i don't mind those little sachets to be honest i know some people don't like them they can be a little bit fiddly to open but once you've got the knack dead easy <laughs> and i'd rather have that than uh, some bottle of it with all the sauce congealed at the top like you get in some places so overall eight pound including that bread and butter which i definitely didn't need and i wouldn't have again if i come back it was nice bread and butter i just couldn't even finish the breakfast as it was so no need for it it was tasty um but like i say for eight quid you can't go wrong that's a really good deal don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below folks whether you think that was breakfast was as good as i reckoned it was what do you reckon they could have improved on anything they should have added most people would say they should have added mushrooms, but I wasn't going to have them. You definitely can't have them on that breakfast, though. They are part of the list of ingredients. 
Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to click a thumbs up on there for me. It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you enjoy what you've seen, why not consider clicking the subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications, and then you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. Okay, time to head home. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.